Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for mid-November 2022. We're going to jump right in here and look at your five main themes for the month. You start off with the Vulture card. It says depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. You have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords also in this reading. So uh, number one, I would like all your fears. Again, Mars retrograde is a little bit of a tricky time. You know, whenever, you know, Mars retrograde is notorious for this type of feeling. <laughs> so usually it's not real is what I would say. So if you feel like there are people who are against you or whatever, of course, have boundaries up. Of course, don't engage in negative situations. Of course, you don't do all those things, but also, you know, don't become so paranoid that you start freaking out, right? Especially with this energy. I think the trick that I'm getting here is, you know, vultures are masters of conservation of energy. They don't waste energy on anything. They soar around until they find food, then they start flapping their wings. So I feel that conservation of energy is going to be your best friend. That's definitely one of your themes. You have this archway card, it says new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. There's something happening here um, this month. I don't know. It's good, whatever it is. I'll say that. But pretty much everyone has had something about like a new life. And you literally have the new life card, which I love this card in this deck. And so you have the new life card. But there's been this like major transformation energy. You have the world going through a portal. So there's clearly a portal opening up for you. You have this dog card that says protection from a powerful friend. And again, this is probably why you don't need to worry about the Ten of Swords and Seven of Swords. I feel like you are protected at this time. You also have this April card. It's a card that says April on it for everyone that's going to say, I thought this was for November. Let me stop you right there. It's a card that says April on it. You have this card that says Bell. It says announcement. There could be some announcements with the April card that happens in April. So it's interesting because the, the third row here is going to be your next six months, which, you know, we're about six months away from April. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if that there were some like good news or some things kind of wrapping up and coming together. I'm also getting something about like vibration reaching out until April <laughs> or something, or it's like, it, but it's almost as if like, let's pretend you have to hold the vibration for a certain amount of time to get something, which I believe, right? It's almost as if, you, if you start acting as if you have something from now until April, I feel like you're going to have it, whatever it is. And I know that sounds like a long time, right? But here's the thing is I think you're going to get clues and signs and symbols and you're actually going to be building towards something. It's like nothing happens overnight. So it, let, let's say you're building a business. I feel like if you hold the vibration of the business from now until April, you'll have it. But obviously you're going to be building it that whole entire time. So it's not like it's really taking six months. I just think that you know, everything is going to add up by that time. So that's what I'm getting here. You also have this cobweb card. It says protected from negative forces beyond your control. You have nothing to worry about, Virgo. I, feel, I would let go of your fears and worries this month for sure. In the area of your general energies, you have this full moon in Capricorn. It says take a reality check. It also, and you also have this new moon in Leo. It says shine. Definitely time for you to get attention. I feel there's something that makes you special that needs attention. That's like, it popped into my head hard there. Virgo. So if you have like a talent, gift, skill, or ability, um, you know, if you have a new business or if you have like some idea where you that you want to present to the world, now is the time. I think now is the time for you to put it out into the world. I feel like that's kind of a little bit of a leap of faith that you can, um, you know, that you should take. I also think like, I'm not saying that you're going to be criticized, but it is popping into my head that opening yourself to criticism is going to make you really, really good at whatever it is that you're doing. And, but again, it's not like you're being criticized. I don't want to scare you. You know, it's just like, that's the message that's popping into my head. So let's say you want to be on YouTube. It's like, you obviously have to, you are obviously going to be criticized on YouTube. <laughs> that's for sure. If you have a YouTube channel, right? So it's like, you're doing something this month and it might be something that you're working on for the next six months as well. Like I said, um, and I kind of feel it kind of opens you to criticism, but at the same time, I feel this reading is saying that you're gonna learn a lot from the criticism as well, but it's not really criticism. I don't think people are gonna be mean to you. You have the world, the King of Wands and the Five of Cups. I feel for some of you that you're turning around a past disappointing situation. You know, it seems to me, Virgo, that some of you are working on something that you've been working on for a very long period of time. I also feel like your life is taking kind of a direction that you didn't expect it to take. You know, um, maybe you, and I'm pretty sure I said this to you in your November reading. I get the same thing here where it's like, maybe you always thought you would be a firefighter, but now you're uh, opening up a donut factory. I don't know, something something different, something totally different, right? And 
I feel like th what you're doing is truly leading to this castle over here. That, you know, he has to turn around and see those two cups so he can get the bridge and the castle. It's like he's getting something much better than he originally expected just by being grateful for what he has. You have the King of Wands here. I feel if you can embrace this energy for the rest of the month that you're just going to have a really good time. <laughs> the King of Wands is like bold, assertive. He really asserts himself in situations. He goes for what he wants. He's confident, courageous as well. So I feel if you can embrace all those energies, that will be good for you. I don't really feel that's love, that per, that King of Wands energy. I feel like that's more your energy. You also have the world. I feel for some of you that you're planning on traveling in the future. Sorry about that. Uh, I feel like some of you could be traveling in the future here. You're planning on traveling or you're looking for a place to travel. I would encourage you like... Um, I don't know, I'm getting a specific message here, Virgo, that if you're like hoping or, you know, planning on moving or traveling, that I would travel somewhere or go somewhere that is going to cause the most growth. Um, I don't know why it's popping into my head, but you could literally be like traveling somewhere where they speak a different language or something like that, or, mm, you know, maybe it's just outside your comfort zone. I think that type of travel would be very beneficial for you with this world card. It just could cause a lot of growth. Um... I also kind of see like a lot of opportunity for you as well, especially in distance, you know? So like if you're um, thinking about getting a job in another state or another country, uh, if you're thinking about moving to another state or another country, I feel there's a lot more opportunity than you realize. Just kind of looking around here. It could also like, you know, here's the other thing. If you're traveling to like another country, for example, or moving to another country, your dollar might be worth more as well there. So, you know, there's something about resources um, coming up in your reading. With the world, you have the Ten of Swords. I actually don't think this is a bad thing. I think this is just saying that a uh, cycle is coming to an end. Whenever we get the world and the Ten of Swords, just as something is dead done over with, you're ready to start a new cycle. I would be careful of living in the past here. I don't mean you're living in the past, but you might just be attached to some old ideas is what I'm getting. But really, I'm not too worried about it. I feel like you're going to overcome it. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is like equal give and take. I kind of feel, you know, it, it's kind of giving me strength vibes, which is really interesting. <laughs> it's like, you know, strength card is about having a daily practice. Normally on the strength card, the lady has her hands in a lion's mouth. And it's basically saying that she's like taming her inner demons, her inner voice. That, that lion is kind of like her inner critic, right? And so I feel like some of you are kind of being challenged to do that, to like tame your inner beast, your inner demons. And the Six of Pentacles, I also, but I feel it's different because Six of Pentacles, I feel it's saying if you could just invest a little bit more energy into, um, you know, into courage and being courageous, just tiny little bits, I feel like it's going to add up over time. With the Five of Cups, you have the Moon card here. This is about stepping into the unknown. So I feel that for some of you that this is encouraging you to embrace a mystery with the moon, we have to go down the path on the moon to those mountains because those mountains represent an achievement. So I feel there could be some big achievements coming in for you, but I feel like you have to kind of like enter into a moon period where, or you have been in a moon period where you're not sure where you're going. Uh, next, we're going to look at the next big change that you could be experiencing or that you are manifesting in your life at this time. You have I didn't even see this. You have this dragonfly card. It says change on it. You also have this toadstool card and it says growth on it. So I feel that there is the next major change that you will be experiencing is probably some financial growth as well. But I also just feel like personal growth in general. Um, I feel that you could be making some really big changes walking away from things that no longer serve you. There's something here about your own purity. It's like those are the words that are popping into my head. And, you know, if I kind of put myself in, in your shoes and if I think about that, um, you know, I kind of feel what this is saying is that your purity is more like what your heart wants. And I think that's the biggest change that you're making. You have the Page of Pentacles to the uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. These are, this is the in-between tarot, and it represents in-between the energy of two cards. So I feel that some of you are making a change in direction. Again, seven of, six of pentacles is seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles says, is the juice worth the squeeze? Like, is it worth it for me to keep investing my time, effort, and energy into something that my heart doesn't want? And the answer is no. So I feel like you're making a change. We see it here as well. You have this seven of cups to the eight of cups. Eight of cups is walking away from things that no longer serve you. But you see this white rose in the middle here 
white roses in the tarot um, represent purity. They represent pure intentions. But what I feel like this is saying is that you're no longer like living your life for other people or for, you know, other situations. I feel like you're starting to live your life for yourself. And um, I don't, I like it. <laughs> I feel like this is very empowering. I'm kind of surprised that like the Empress isn't showing up here. It's giving me that type of kind of glow up vibe. You have the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. Don't hesitate. You got started on something. Don't stop now is what I'm getting. It's like sometimes I think we get started on something. It doesn't work quite how we expect it to. So we get disappointed and we allow the disappointment to stop us. I feel like this is saying you've started something new recently. Don't quit. Don't stop now because, you know, I feel like you're building up a lot of momentum. You're very close. You're just maybe you're just experiencing a little bit of resistance. With the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups, or, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Page of Cups. Definitely could be love coming in for you as well. Uh, so this could be a earth sign, water sign. I mean, you have everything here, earth, water, fire, you know, basically everything. So just a new person coming in for you. If it's not, I feel like this is a new opportunity. I feel there's a new opportunity for all of you come, that is like being presented to you, but it feels foreign to me. Again, I can't get away from this feeling of like feeling that I'm almost like somewhere I don't belong, but not in a bad way. Just like I'm in another country. I, I, maybe I'm not exactly comfortable. You know, maybe I, I don't feel like I am, I totally fit in, but is this a bad thing? Definitely not for you. I feel I'm encouraging you to do this, to put yourself in a situation that might be slightly uncomfortable, but is definitely going to lead to this growth. And, and maybe you're not, it's not a foreign country. Like I said, maybe you're getting a job where you don't know all the details. You know, I feel there could be, I'm getting a lot of stuff here, but there could be like an opportunity to get a job where maybe you have to learn as you go. So you don't exactly know how to do it, but maybe you're learning, right? And here you go. With the seven of cups to the eight of cups, you have the five of wands. <laughs> five of wands is my card of learning because these people, they're using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. I always say that to me, the five of wands is a card of learning. It's like, yes, it can absolutely represent conflict and competition. Absolutely. But at the same time, to me, it's a card of education because they're learning how to fight. Even in this next deck right next to it, I'm using the after tarot. In the after tarot, the five of wands, they're all like sitting down and there's like one person standing up talking to everyone. So I feel like you're going through a period of time where you might be feeling conflicted, right? But it's gonna lead to the most growth. With the six of pentacles, seven of pentacles, you have the judgment card. I feel like you know it's time to change. Judgment is like, these people are being called up out of their coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. I feel like you're being called just into a new life and literally in your next row for what's coming in for you over the next six months. I'm doing the next six months because we just had those eclipses and I feel like that eclipse energy is gonna last for about the next six months. You have the new life card. You also have this leg up card. I feel like the universe wants you to see you progress. This reading is very personal, I would say. Virgo, I feel like it's all about you. Uh, in a good way. Uh, there's a little bit of love here, but you know, for the most part, and again, of course, over the next six months, you could discover love. A lot happens in six months, but I kind of feel like this reading is more talking about you and talking about you progressing and like what the universe is encouraging you to do or kind of guiding you towards, if that makes sense. You start off with the seven of wands, even though yeah, it looks like the five of wands, but that's the seven of wands. I'm using the after tarot, the king of cups and the ace of wands. I feel like some of you are hoping for some sort of new beginning in love. So if you do want love, you maybe are like slightly disappointed. <laughs> you can see how this guy, he's pouring out one cup. He's a little bit disappointed, but he still has the other cup. So I feel like some of you, it's like you still have one cup to give. Some of you could also be attracting a, like a water sign who's just been disappointed in love. And, but I feel like, like not that big of a deal. I feel like they'll open up, right? For others, I feel like you just, if, if you're feeling bored, if you're feeling like listless, if, you, if you're feeling like you don't have a direction, if you feel like giving up, you have the 10 of swords. I feel like this is saying, don't give up. Seven of wands is a card of perseverance and persistence, both. It like says, if you are persistent, you will be successful. You can see that there are some boats, some ships behind him. The boats in the King of Cups, they represent going into uncharted territory. So if you're feeling this way, if you feel like you don't know what to do, if you're feeling you don't know what direction to go in, I would say that the, a new direction, doing something new, doing something exciting that you desire to do is exactly what I'd be doing. Again, I'm, I'm not saying it's not going to require bravery as well. I feel like pretty much all of us are being required to do things that require bravery. You know, we could be wanting to start businesses that just don't make sense to anyone else. And, you know, I talk about this all the time because it's very important. It's what everyone is dealing with. And 
uh, you know, you could be wanting to, again, move to another country. And again, maybe it doesn't make sense to other people in your life, but you need to move towards your desire, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is just like that thing that gets us up out of bed in the morning. It's that thing that we can think about that we can't sleep at night because we're so excited to think about it. So if you have something like that in your life, it might not make sense to other people. This Seven of Wands, it looks very similar to the Five of Wands, right? They're fighting. But I feel it's also a card of defending your position at the top of the hill. You might be entering into a time over the next six months where you have to defend some of your ideas, but I actually don't think you have to defend your ideas. What I think you need to do is become a living example, is to just execute on your idea, whatever it is. I feel like you just need to do whatever you're feeling inspired to do. Again, Ace of Wands is that the spark of life. It is sometimes just that like spark of inspiration that we need. And I feel like there's something very exciting coming into your life. I think the challenge for you, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, the challenge for you is it's only exciting to you right now, <laughs> right? But what I would say is I feel like in the future, people are gonna be like, how the hell did Virgo do this? How the hell did Virgo you know, build this business or move to this country or do whatever they're doing, right? With the Seven of Wands, you have the Nine of Cups, wishes and fulfillment. Nine of Cups is all about, uh, did I say Seven of Cups? Sorry, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is about focusing on your own fulfillment. What makes you happy? What makes you feel fulfilled? What brings joy into your life? And uh, how can you feel more of it, really? And that's what I would be pr uh, practicing right here is protecting your own happiness. With the King of Cups, you have the Hierophant here. You have the Hierophant twice. Hierophant is a learning period. So you're definitely learning, I, I would say, but I would also say that this could be marriage coming in for some of you. With the Ace of Wands, you have the King of Cups, very passionate new beginning, probably with a water sign. So if you want love, definitely could be uh, love coming in. This person could be waking up to you or you're waking up to this person. Again, you might like be working with a person or something. I don't know, it, it kind of gives me work vibes. So I'm wondering if like you, you're working with a person, like all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, this person is very attractive. <laughs> like it just hits you one day. So if that happens, you know, it could be your person. It looks very good. I mean, higher friend is marriage. This might come from a friend group as well. It's kind of interesting. Like I feel like you've been sleeping on this person for whatever reason, for some of you, obviously that's not gonna be true for all of you. They could have, for some of you, this person has been sleeping on you. And I feel like they're waking up to you here. There's also, you know, I also think it's super interesting that you have the bear here and you have bears here, you know, like the bears, obviously the animal. And uh, in the Lenormand card reading system, the bear, the 10 of clubs, it can represent education. It can represent getting a leg up basically um, as well. Uh, but it can represent kind of uh, learning through experience. And I kind of feel that for you here where it's like you're learning something through experience. At the end here for messages from your future self, you have this magic, that you have this witch card that says magic curse on it. You have this bear card that says strength and resourcefulness. I would definitely be resourceful at this time. I don't really, I feel you need to trust in magic. I don't think there are or is a curse, even though you have the 10 of swords and the seven of swords. I feel like you feel that you could be cursed, but you're not. So what I would say here is I would, um, you know, take your power back. I would focus on manifestation as well. I feel like it's not really a curse that you're feeling. I feel what you're feeling is like, okay, is this the best that life has to offer? I feel like you're kind of asking those questions. This is all I have to look forward to and all this other stuff. So remember what I said earlier about feeling listless. You know, that's like how I feel <laughs> in your reading. I feel, I feel like I want to get out. You know, that's like the best way I could describe it. You have the Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Swords. I would definitely be careful of lying, cheating, stealing people. Uh, again, Mars retrograde. Mars retrograde is a little tricky. So, you know, I don't think we should be paranoid, like I always say, but I do think we should pay attention. So I would just pay attention. If someone doesn't, if something doesn't seem right, it's probably not right. I would just pay attention to that intuitively. Seven of Swords is also about doing things differently. He's stealing those swords from an army that's in the background of the card. So it's like, it's a card of tactics. And I feel like being tactical is, of course, a good idea right now. And of course, that also has to do with Mars retrograde. I feel like you've been through some difficult endings. I'm, this is like a bunch of experiences that are just like swirling around in my head right now. So some of you, you know, could be experiencing that type of energy. And I do feel like, I don't want to be mean, but I do feel like this is saying, let it go. <laughs> uh, like, I don't mean that in a mean way, but I feel like it's saying like, you just have to get over it, something. You know, I feel the universe is kind of like saying, hey, you know, you're about to level up clearly. You have that leg up card. You have the Hierophant. Hierophant represents ascension, ascending to the next level. He has three levels to his crown. Those three levels represent initiation, apprenticeship, and mastery. It kind of represents like leveling up. 
And so I feel like you're being leveled up here, but the universe is saying to me, to you, or this is really your future self, but I really also feel it's the universe is kind of saying like, hey, there are some things from the past that if you don't let go of those things, they're just gonna they're just gonna be like anchors. They're gonna prevent you from ascending. So I feel like you have to kind of lighten up the energy here. Let's get more details on this. With the Ten of Swords, you have the Chariot. Definitely a victory coming in for you. For some of you, you might just be saying, hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it up to God, right? I'm just gonna let the universe decide the direction that I'm going in life. The Chariot is of course a victory. But there are no reins attaching these sphinxes to the chariot. It represents the fact that he's just trusting that the universe knows what's best. And sometimes I think when we just kind of surrender to the universe and say, you know what? I know that you're preparing me for something so much better. When we do that, then we uh, actually get something so much better. So you are definitely moving in a new direction. I am telling you right now, if you are working with foreign countries, if you're doing any of that stuff, I feel there's a lot of success. You know, for those of you that have like businesses involving travel or foreign locations or any of that stuff. Uh, I just get this feeling that that is really, really good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, with the Hierophant, you have the Queen of Wands, very attractive at this time. Definitely could be love coming in for you. You have the King and Queen of Wands, so there's a lot of desire here. And with the Seven of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords, get out of your head. Um, you know, I feel like you need to, like this could just be a little bit too much of like thinking that the world is against you, like I said. So I would try to, or the universe or God or whoever is against you. So I would like get away from this energy just a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna pull an extra like clarification here. Can we just get more details on like what the outcome for Virgo is? You have the net of swords, no rushing things, but I do feel like this could be things like picking up, right? You have the four swords recovery. I feel like the universe is asking you to not rush things as well. Um, you know, Four Swords is like resting, relaxing, recovering, but sometimes I think it's saying, don't try to push things. And you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is also like resourcefulness. So tap into your resources. Yeah, it doesn't really answer the question, <laughs> except for you have that bear card, which has strength. So it could be encouraging you to be patient at this time uh, as well. Uh, we're going to pull three cards now, by the way, Virgo. And I'm going to do one, two, and three, feel free to pause this reading if you need time to think your questions or question, but I'm gonna answer one question. If you don't have a question, that's fine too, because I'm gonna put all three cards together as like a personalish reading. But uh, feel free to pause because I'm read, gonna read the cards right now. Uh, you have the Empress, the Tower, and the Strength card. Uh, crazy combination, much more powerful than the reading. It's kind of funny because at the beginning of your reading, I was thinking about how I've done a bunch of these readings today and there haven't really, it's like, I haven't seen a lot of like major arcana in the readings, which is kind of like pretty interesting to me. You know, it kind of says maybe there's not a lot of change. All major arcana right here, right? And the Empress can represent glow up energy. Tower can of course represent a tower moment. Strength card, patience. We talked about strength in your reading as well, but you know, I get a very powerful kind of energy here about, but it's like you becoming more powerful. I feel like the tower could be a shock to people in your life as well. Like I said, there's definitely something in your reading about surprising people for the changes that you're making. And so you could, they might be shocked. I don't think you're shocked by these changes. And the strength card I feel is your answer. Like I feel like strength is you taming that inner critic that says you can't do things. I feel like all of you need to do that. Uh, for others, uh, uh, that was really just the general gist of this. For some of you, I feel like this is saying you need to be patient and I feel like you need to realize your true power with the Empress. Like if you're asking about a breakup or a separation, I feel like you need to realize that you're much more powerful than whatever that situation was. So I wouldn't go rushing back to anything at this time here. Uh, for others, um, you know, I feel like some of you are asking about like work, like rebuilding in work or business, making more money. And I do feel there's more money coming in here with this energy, but after some like restructuring or something is popping into my head. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, thank you for being here, Virgo. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.